Luke chapter 22, starting at verse 28, reading it again. It says, Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. And I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Right? Because that's the reward for the elect. You know, the elect who have been enduring the sufferings of Yahweh Mashai, they're going to be put in a position of rulership in the kingdom to come, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, man. Through the righteousness of Yahweh Mashai. And like Yahweh said, you are they which have continued with me in my temptations. So, just like how we go through temptations, Yahweh Shai was tempted as well. Okay? This is uh, Luke 22 and 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fill not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. So, the point being what? Yahweh Shai praying for his elect, just like how he prayed for David. You know that our faith doesn't fail okay and we're being strengthened and comforted through this word okay through the word of Yahweh Shemesh through the brothers doing the work pushing the videos doing these epistles these are uh, strengthening us through the spirit of power Yahweh Shemesh and comforting us man okay because you know the men of the Lord out here are speaking the words of Yahweh Shemesh okay as, as all the rest of the elect you know in their own according to their own portion all right but nonetheless, it says the point. What I pray for you that faith fail not, man. So we can't, we can't give up the faith because that's ultimately what Satan wants. He wants us to give up the faith, man. All right. But the point being is to maintain the faith, and that's all through your Hashem Shem Shai delivering all these different temptations, man. You got to maintain your faith. It's all a trial of our faith, man. First Peter one and seven. The trial of your faith being much more precious than that of gold, which perishes. Okay, Second Corinthians one and three. Blessed be the Most High, even the Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the Father of mercies and the power of all comfort. Rakatha Yahweh Bashem El Shai, who comforteth us in all our tribulation. So even when we're going through temptations, Yahweh Bashem Shai is our comfort. Okay, because temptation isn't just simply you know you experiencing lust or you know what I'm saying? You might not want to uh, do a certain, do something because you're being rebellious or whatever. All right? But you know the right way you're supposed to go. Temptation is also like the different trials in your life that, that tries your faith. You know, because doubting is a temptation. Doubting is going off. So pretty much you got to maintain the faith. The Satan wants you to doubt. You know, how much Mashiach doesn't want you to doubt. He wants you to have faith. It's impossible to please the Abbas Mashiach without faith. So if Satan gets you to doubt, if he if he can sift you out the faith, then he won. Okay? So that's why even when you're going through certain things where life suddenly hits you hard, you might your car might break down, you know, your woman might leave you, you might get sick randomly, you know, whatever. You might not have any money. You know, you still have to have maintain faith in those situations as well, because those are temptations as well, man. Okay? So like it says, who comfort us in all our tribulations. So everything that we go through, Yahweh Shemeshai comforts us. That's why it says in Sirach, the second chapter, my son, if thou come to the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased to that last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, man, and be patient with our change to a low estate. For gold is trying the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. You know, to the spirit of power, Yahweh Shemeshai, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, so the Wadi Yabashim El Shai for these words, because these words is what guides us and comforts us, man. It gives us the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and directs our path soberly, man. Okay, it's not our own wisdom, it's not our own might. It's Yahweh Shai giving us the ability to do these things. Okay, read that again, Second Corinthians one and four, who comforteth us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them. Which are in any trouble, right? Like how I said, when to Peter, when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. So sometimes you might catch hell or go through a certain temptation or trial because the Lord knows that you have stronger faith to go through it. Okay, and he under and the scriptures say the Lord doesn't tempt us above what we're able. So the Lord, you know, gives like people ever say, the Lord gives his toughest battles for his toughest soldiers in a roundabout way. Like that's what applies. The Lord knows you can conquer that. So by you experiencing that, you could teach another brother. 
you know, for when it's his turn to go through it, man. Okay, just like how Yahweh Shai said an example for us, how we ought to walk in the flesh. You know, we follow after his example, and us follow after his example is for those who follow behind us through Yahweh Bashem spirit within us, you know, and show them the example through the spirit. Okay, we're supposed to be ensembles to the flock. First Peter the fifth chapter. Okay, it says, for as the sufferings of Mashiach abound in us, so our consolation also abounded by Mashiach. That's right. So just like how our sufferings grow. Well, our consolation or our reward grows, man. Okay? You know? So you got to always remember that. He that sows sparingly shall reap sparingly. He that sows bountifully shall reap bountifully. So you get what you put into this thing, man. You know? But if you're putting in work for Yahweh Shemashai, indeed you will be rewarded, man. Everything is is, is, is going to uh, be restored unto us in due season. Lord willing, we endure. Okay? So it says... 2 Corinthians 1 and 6, and whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings, which we also suffer, or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. Right. So pretty much like the Apostle Paul said, we endure all things for the elect's sake, man. Okay. This is all a part of the big picture, you know, so you can't get all caught up to when certain situations happen to you, man, you know, because the Lord might be using you as an example, you know, for the rest of the flock. You know, and how, on how to conduct yourself righteously. Speaking to myself first and foremost, and I know it's easier said than done. You know, but we got to endure through it, man. And keep a, a good heart to when we catch up. Okay? Like Bruce Lee said, uh, pray not for an easy life, but pray for the strength to endure a hard one. You know? And there's uh, another quote where it says pretty much, in the midst of chaos is opportunity, man. So in the midst of you catching hell, you have an opportunity to show your faith in Yahweh Bashem Shai, man. That's powerful. You know? And like, and there's another quote. It's a stoicism quote. It says, uh, pretty much, don't wish events uh, didn't happen the way they did. You know, but pretty much wish to have the right response to them. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Super roughly paraphrasing. But like scriptures say, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, man. Okay? And be patient with thou change to a low state. For gold is shot in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Okay? So it says, um, and where, I'll slack you. Verse 7, 2 Corinthians 1 and 7, it says, And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of the sufferings, so shall ye be also of the consolation. Right? Just like how Yahweh Shai went through sufferings and he's going to get rewarded. Same thing for his elect. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. Romans 8 and 17, and if children, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh Mashai, and joint heirs of Mashiach, if so be that we suffer with him, then we may be also glorified together. All right? Yeah. So just like how we're suffering with Yahweh we're going to be glorified with him. The book of Sirach says, uh, be patient to thy neighbor, you know, when he's in poverty, you know, that that man rejoice with him in his riches, roughly paraphrasing. It's in, the, it's in the book of Ecclesiasticus. Okay. Romans 8 and 18, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Right. So everything that we're going through, this ain't going to mean nothing in comparison to the kingdom, man, and to the reward at hand. You know, but we have to go through this present affliction. Like it says, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 4, verse 7. Let me get that, Lord willing. verse 17 rather but let me start at 16 second corinthians 4 and 16 it says for which cause we faint not but though our outward man perish yet the inward man is renewed day by day right so that's a part of the suffering our outward man this flesh is breaking down but our spirits are being built up daily man that's why we got to endure in this thing because it's really the how i said the true worshiper shall worship you by some shine spirit and in truth so if your spirit is being built up and you're following the ways of truth then you're truly worshiping the Lord, man. And if you're truly worshiping the Lord, you will obtain his mercy. Okay? It says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. That's right. So this is just a light affliction. Short pains, like I said in the book of Maccabees. Okay? So we got to just endure through it. And I know in the moment, you know, when you're going through uh, adversity, you forget about prosperity. Like it says in Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. You know, and when you're in prosperity, you forget about adversity, but we got to endure. Okay, give yourself a spiritual pep talk. Encourage yourself in the Lord. 
you know, like King David did, you know, with Jonathan, okay? And also King David did, uh, you know, many times himself. He encouraged himself in the Lord, okay? So this is just a light affliction, man. And we're really going to get a greater reward than the sufferings that we go through. Always remember that if you endure for the elect. 2 Corinthians 4 and 18, it says, While we look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal, man. That's right. So this present world is going to pass away. Everything that we see, this world is going to pass away. But the spirit realm, what is not easily accessible with the naked eye, guess what, man? That's eternal, man. That's what we need to set our affections on. We need to set our affections on things above, man. Colossians, the third chapter. So, Lord, will this video is edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shem, Shabbat, 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 Shabb